what needs to be addressed. So we're going to see what the ancestors of our greatest good want to bring forward in regards to this. And why we are doing another message. So, call upon the higher selves of the collective and the higher self of me, the ancient of the ancient ancestors, and the supreme creative source of all. Um, We will do three such well three areas of address. One may resonate in one area and then it may resonate over that way. Apply it how it applies. This is general. You know what to do. All of that jazz. All the information you need will be down in the description box for any personal consultations with or without cards. My disclaimer as well as my cash app that would greatly be appreciated. Alright. What needs to be addressed? Nope. Trapped in fear. What needs to be addressed? Okay. Well. One. Suffering in silence. Two. Temptation. Mm, the devil. The nine of air, the devil, and the sun, the light, what needs to be addressed, suffering in silence, temptations, seductions, Your light, what you give, what you project, obstacles and challenges. Yeah, this is what that feels like. Obstacles and challenges. Did I show the cards? I think I did. Some of you are just allowing your own minds to just be in silence. Not communicating what you really desire or what you really want. And that really needs to be addressed at this time. Some of you are within um, the X paradigm and old things. Allowing yourselves to be um, tempted. That needs to be addressed. Some of you um, are giving your light outward, sharing too much of your life source energy or your information. That needs to be addressed. Giving too freely. Some of you with this um, temptations, what needs to be addressed is the amount of your body that you share with others in that intimate way. Being entangled in too much mess. One more. Suffering in silence. Here's the suffering. What do we need to know about the suffering in silence? This is holding on to the pain. Yeah. The king of swords holding on to the pain. 
trying to make sense of it. Yeah. <clears throat> Definitely trying to make sense of it. Yeah. Justice. The King of Swords with Justice and the Four of Wands. Justice and the Four of Wands. Yeah. This is trying to make sense of something. This is trying also suffering in silence and juggling in um, what's best for you, what needs to be restored, what doesn't need to be restored, what laws or um, patterns or habits that needs to be changed. Some of you um, are not delegating or dictating to others around you the way that you need to. Um, basically not speaking up <clears throat> as you need to. I don't like the glare on my cards. Someone, um, may have gotten the hammer, is what I'm hearing. They may have been placed into prison. And maybe this is someone on the outside of you that it may pull at your heart or something because it's really nothing that you can do because um, justice has been served. So maybe you need to address some type of um, unresolved emotions that you may carry um, behind this particular situation if this is your um, particular This is also bringing in some peculiar energy, but can't be too peculiar when we're dealing with the ancient ancestors. Um, there's someone here that may have lost a loved one um, to prison. There's still some discrepancies about some evidence with the in silence this is like also really seeking after justice justice um, to be served would be something that would be very fulfilling to the heart I wish I could guide you to tell you how to actually find that justice within. But I want to say that this justice is within the heart and bringing um, acceptance and allowing the self to actually come to a level of closure. This can also be suffering in silence in regards to some type of legal documents of some sort some type of transition or transaction there may be some fine details or some fine details within the logistics that you're, you may be a little uncomfortable with and that may be what's in silence and you need to speak up while your opportunity is still present. Where are these temptations? The material world. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Being lazy.
the Ace of Wands. This is thinking with the phallus and the Queen of Wands. That was in reverse. This is chasing. This is chasing after the temptations. Chasing after, okay. Sexual activities or things of your sensation, so that you can actually be aroused or be um, in this. seduction it's like I can't explain the way that my mind perceives what I want to say but this is like like being on top like trying to prove something trying to be number one of some sort but trying to actually use the essence of the body and being that seductress type um, energy energy or um, mistress or um, I got it all together type energy because that ace of wands was also in reverse so some of you may be within a relationship or commitment a marriage however and you may be tempted to go outside um, for your sexual um, pleasures or your sensual needs, okay? Your sensual needs. These sensual needs can also be disguised as um, drugs, alcohol, overindulgence in things. Um, this can be overindulgence, okay? I'm just going to say overindulgence. And whatever your particular vice is that you know is artificial. Artificially conditioned and implanted. What needs to be addressed of the light? This is to take your power back, claim back, call back in some of your sensual energy for yourself. The Six of Cups. Sharing too much with the people of the past. Old clan members. Yeah. Old clan members that no longer serve. So you're giving to those of old that pretty much their time is served. Or your time is served with them. This season has come to an end. It's, there's a closure here. What needs to be addressed is how to go ahead and bring closure to the things of the past. We have the wheel that is present as well. Major Arcana with the light, which is the sun. So there's really what needs to be addressed is how to change that old karma, how to call back in your soul light. I've been having issues. And I can't seem to fix it. So, you know, Mama Soul Lily comes with her faults, flaws, hiccups and all. And I come to bring the messages that are needed for you for whenever that time may be within the essence of your moment. But I want to say that the major arcana of the sun, the life source, life force, energy, your vitality, your stamina, your power, your strength, has been going out amongst too many people. Look at the gestures. Your light has been going out to too many people. This is the Six of Cups of the past. Too much thought. If it's not giving out energy, it's still thought. It's still energy, period. It does not matter, okay? You're giving too much outwards. 
and it's keeping you in this it's either keeping you stagnant and stuck in the same frequency unable for fate to turn in your favor to change what what else with this wheel and this light address needs to be addressed with the sun. Six of Pentacles. There's that six. Six of Pentacles. And the Ten of Cups. Need new circles, new friends. People that are authentic. What needs to be addressed is really finding your path towards authentic people that can actually help you evolve, grow, develop. That aren't going to use your um, your cup energy. You know your the cup and the wand. You know your sexual energy your sacred waters, however you want to call it. So, this is what needs to be addressed presently for whoever situations these may be. We have the knight. Is that the knight? Yes, the knight of swords at the bottom of the deck. Let's go ahead and make haste. Let's take care of the things that we know we need to take care of individually within our lives let's not let's not continue to allow people to use our weakness for kindness our kindness for weakness let's not allow people to put our minds where our minds have to keep quiet or silent or muted and let's be cautious here in how we share, how we share our life source, who we give our jewels and our pearls of wisdom to. And I do say, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, comment, even if it's an emoji. Hit that bell notification so you know when I upload. And until next time, he said no. Hold up. I just heard no. They want you to have a embodiment, a spiritual um, animal embodiment power. Maybe to learn, research. Maybe take in the essence. Work with the element of it. Alright, suffering in silence. What is the power? The lizard. Heal and protect. Stop surviving and let's start thriving. The lizard. Protect yourselves. Your power is to make sure that you protect yourself. So that you can continue to heal thyself and move forward. This is also for some of you, um, your power is that you can take off the changing faces, the shape shifting, the whale. All right, temptation, the whale. Your message is allow yourself to connect to the sacred waters within the deep abyss. To truly come and tap into the darkness. When you tap into the darkness, then that's when you will find your power. The power is within the light of your soul. I'm hearing seek it out, search it out, and soon it will come.
and for the light. Uh, harness your energy. The black egg. Harness your energy. The light. Harness it. Close it off. You don't have to give it. You're going to shine anyway. Look at that. You don't have to give it. You're going to shine anyway. All you have to do is just be present. Your power is just be present. Your power is just to be present. You do not have to emit out anything. You do not have to exchange anything if you do not want to. If you do not want to share, if you do not want to give a word, you do not have to. Because your vibration is going to emit anyway. And for temptation, you also have an emittance. But an emitting of light. But your power within your emitting of light is being used in the wrong things with the wrong people. And I do say, this concludes this message. And until next time, I share.